Greetings, friends, and welcome to your weekly random. I'm Sir Random, and today we're going to be talking about an NPC or non playable character of my world that my players have come to befriend. My players have asked a lot about him, and he's opened up to them a lot, so it is time for them to get a huge lore dump for him. However, I don't want to take up a bunch of role playing time in game, so I would like to do that here. This NPC is known as Dern, the Blue Skinned Blade. He is a drow warrior with a rough past. I want to make this video to go into his full backstory so that my players have a reference to look at. Let's go ahead and get started with some context. When first entering the hold of Ubenwald, my players discovered that there had been a war going on between drow and dwarves for over 250 years. This was all discovered to be a ruse and the drow were actually doppelgangers, using the dwarves for food and resources. Yes, they actually ate dwarves. I would like to tell this story in first person as Dern himself, so let's go ahead and begin. I was born in the Upper Underdark 134 years ago. Life in the true Underdark is nothing like it is in the caverns here. The area I was born in was ruled by a Dark Queen who was blessed by the Spider Queen Lolth. I quickly realized how bad this life was going to be and that I could make it better. The pain, the hunger, it was never ending. I fought every day to find food, and fighting whoever tried to take it. After 30 years, I managed to gather enough food to leave the city. Outside the city, there were a lot more threats. Hunters, goblins, hags, insects, it was a mess. After weeks of traveling the upper underdark, I found another drow city close to the surface tunnels. This city did not look like any other drow city I had ever been in. It was civilized and clean. The buildings were distinctly elvish, but the people were walking around freely. They even looked happy. I did not even see a single slave, drow, or any other race. I walked into the city and nobody batted an eye. I was clearly not in the domain of Loth anymore. I quickly found a temple and learned all I could from these people. I found an empty tunnel, close to the Underdark, but still close enough to the city of Cloakie. I spent years building a tower inspired by their city. I traveled every day and prayed to the Luxon at their temple. For 35 years, I prayed at an altar of the Luxon. Until one day I opened my eyes and I was bestowed these blades. I still do not know if the Luxon or the priest gave them to me, but they have served me better than anything else in this world. I took these blades and honed my skill with them. I discovered the magic and learned how to control it. I've even asked the Luxon many times for help and information, but I've never heard his call. It wasn't till years later that the priest told me that the Luxon no longer speaks to his people because of the great sacrifice he had to make. This is when I learned the true history of the drow and why Lolth rules with an iron fist. It all started 2,000 years before the Dragon War. The drow were living above ground and worshipped the Luxon. Because of our dark skin and our religion, many races feared and hated the drow. We were pushed underground. We made our homes in the Underdark, but unfortunately, Wolf already ruled what is now the Middle Underdark and would not allow worship of the Luxon. A war between the Luxon and Lolth proceeded to destroy the caverns and create a new layer of the Underdark we now call the Upper Underdark, where I came from. The Underdark now has three layers, the Lower Underdark, the Middle Underdark, and the Upper Underdark. The tunnels you're familiar with are not technically part of the Underdark, and they're actually just surface caverns that lead into the Underdark, but anyways, I'm trailing on. The war went on for many years, and it only ended because of the Luxon split himself into what he called the Beacons. He scattered these beacons across all of Hunarab and shed tiny amounts of his power into them. It is said that if you gather all of the beacons and have enough energy from the prayers of his followers, it's possible to get him back to full strength and bring him back into the material plane. I vowed to be the one to gather these beacons, end the rule of Lolth. I knew I couldn't do it in my current state. I needed to get stronger. This is when I went to explore further into the surface tunnels. I found tunnels that I had never seen before, with brown dirt, unlike the dark purple I'm used to. I discovered another group of drow, or what I thought was drow. After some distant observation, I 
quickly realized that these were not true drow, but actually doppelgangers, only pretending to be drow. The friendly drow of Cloaky told me that they drove the doppelgangers out long ago. This was when I decided this would be the perfect way to get stronger. I spied on the doppelgangers' camp and quickly found out that they were fighting with these dwarves. I joined the fight, helping the dwarves. I met the man you all know as Grog. We shared some blows, but quickly came to an understanding that I was here to help. I earned trust over many months and was accepted into the Dwarven Generals as a fighter. The Council was not allowed to know of my presence because of I was not permitted to be in the hold, nor was I permitted to be an actual fighter. I did this for years, fighting undercover and more and more gained the trust of these dwarves. It has now been 10 years and a lot's happened. I am now a trusted by the Council and I do have permission to walk about the city. Although, because of my magics, I choose to hide myself and stay cloaked through my travels in the city. Five years ago, I met Brofist. We got to talking about the truth of the council, and we both agreed that we needed to stop everything. And that's when we formed the revolution you see before us. We built the tunnels so we could get to place to place unseen. We recruited people and started sabotaging what we could. But the council was extremely powerful, and there was nothing we could do until you guys showed up. I will have enough beacons to bring back the Luxon one day and save my people from these hardships. And that's going to wrap up our story today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Dern is actually one of my favorite NPCs that I've been working on recently. I will absolutely have more stories to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. This is Sir Random, signing off.